Today I'll show you how this crazy clock works, what it takes to build, and how nearly every piece is made from wood using some interesting techniques. First, I'd like to point out that I did not come up with this concept, I just made it a little more affordable. The original designer is named Will Aspinall from the UK. So how does this work? Well, the entire spiral actually rotates around this hole, and this ball just sits on the bottom, and gravity keeps the ball vertically in line with the top hole. So as the spiral rotates, it slowly lifts the ball towards the center. And we can tell time by looking at which number is behind the ball and where the ball is positioned between the two numbers. Then once the ball reaches the center of the spiral, it falls through the hole and repeats the process. Let me show you the hardware. For this project, I'll be using an Arduino Nano. A Pancake NEMA 17 stepper motor. Which, if you want a cheaper option, this smaller stepper motor could probably be used instead. A stepper driver. A capacitor. And a 9 volt power supply and switch. That's all of the main components. The majority of the body of this clock is wood that's been cut using Creality's Falcon 2 laser machine. And there are also some 3D printed pieces. The material cost is roughly $60. If you want to build this, all part links and files are in the description. And instead of an Arduino and stepper, you may be able to power this thing with the hour hand of a high torque clock mechanism. Attaching the gears may be a little harder though. However, the Arduino does allow me to add some customization and incorporate a little chime if I'd like to. This project was designed entirely in Fusion 360 by making all of the wooden parts the thickness of the wood I'm using, then saving each part's profile as a DXF file to laser cut. Now as you probably noticed, there are a lot of curves in this design, and since I'm using wood, these would be pretty hard to cut with a laser. So what I was able to do was lay each curved piece flat, then apply this pattern to the parts that need to bend. This pattern allows you to flex the wood into nearly any curve you'd like. It was actually surprisingly simple to find the number positions along the spiral. First we just need to know how many rotations it takes to get from the bottom of the clock to the middle. In my case that's 5 rotations. And in each rotation we know we have 360 degrees. So we will need to make this motor spin 1800 degrees in 12 hours, since this is a 12 hour clock. To find what degree each hour should be placed at, we can simply divide the total number of degrees needed by how many hours are on our clock. So 1800 divided by 12, which is 150 degrees. So each number will need to be spaced 150 degrees apart from each other. Okay, let's put those numbers in our design. I also added some little half hour marks to make it easier to read. Now that that's done, we can get cutting. Every piece possible was cut out of 3mm plywood on Creality's 22 watt laser machine with no issues. This laser cutter and engraver comes with so many features that can really take your projects to the next level. If you're interested in making things like this, check out my review and in-depth testing for this amazing machine. I've also linked this laser in the description along with a 20% discount code.
Most of the parts that will never have to be taken apart again have been glued together. The other parts around the motor are attached using M3 screws. So we've got the motor in here, the Arduino one cover in the back, and the switch on the side to adjust the time and turn it off. Again, all links are in the description if you'd like to build it. The cord coming out of the bottom isn't ideal, but I couldn't find a good solution to use a battery that lasts more than a couple of hours with this motor. If anyone has any suggestions to eliminate this cord, I'd love to hear them. I am using a clear cord though, and it actually looks better than I thought it would against the wall. Now I'll never have to change any batteries. So as stated before, to get from the bottom to the middle, which is 12 hours, the clock must rotate 5 times with this particular spiral. Since this motor steps 200 times per revolution, we need to make it do 1000 steps in 12 hours. There are 43,200 seconds in 12 hours, so we will need to have the motor do one step every 43.2 seconds when the motor is directly on the axle of the spiral. However, since my clock has a 10 to 1 gear ratio, I'll need to speed up the motor by 10 times in the code. So the motor will need to complete one step every 4.32 seconds. Here's how I did that in the code. Only 15 lines here, really simple. I'm basically just defining my pins from the driver to the Arduino and looping one step every 4.32 seconds over and over. Let's see if that's all it takes. of mesmerizing just waiting for the ball to reach the center and slide back down to repeat the process. When most people think of laser machines, they probably think of something being engraved or cut on a two-dimensional product. I think this project really shows that there are so many more possibilities than that. It was really fun to incorporate all these different techniques into one project. Hopefully you found some interest in this, and maybe you can apply one of those techniques in your own projects. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments, subscribe so you don't miss the next project, and you can find behind the scenes content on my Patreon in the description. Thanks.